Paul Robeson is one of those figures that if you're in American theater at all, you've always heard about him. In the 1930s and 40s, he was the most famous black man in the world. Robeson was like a, a, a modern day superhero, all American football player, uh, Rutgers valedictorian, Columbia Law School graduate, star of stage and screen, singer in front of tens of thousands of people, uh, advocate for the working people, African people. It just seems unreal. I was always baffled as to why this man, who was so important for so many people for so long, that we have completely forgotten him. He has been deleted from history. The show begins on a day after Robeson has received a subpoena to appear before the House Un-American Activities Committee. His passport has been taken away. His career is really on a very horrible downward spiral. And he's been called to testify. And that question, how did I end up here? How can they judge me in this way? Is the impetus for him to journey through the big moments of his life that caused him to become such a staunch artist activist. We can see both ropes on the public persona and ropes on the private persona. And the tension between those two things is a lot of where the drama of the play resides. You, gentlemen, are the non-patriots, and you are the un-Americans, and you ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Mr. Apeson, you are here because you are part of I had to really ask myself what was the character's most heroic qualities, but also what were the character's contradictions. His platform as an artist was not enough. And I think that sacrifice and the controversy that was associated with that sacrifice is why we don't know more about him today.